The young priest stopped talking for a while and then talked in the light outside the window. Father Schwartz was a priest sent to Korea as the missionary from Germany. He settled in Busan during the Korean War and built a cathedral. He has also opened a relief center to look after homeless people, sick and powerless. He always lamented the poor medical conditions in Korea. Young children dying without treatment for even a small inflammation, mothers who lose their lives while giving birth to their own children without basic medical benefits, and newborns who are lucky to see the light of the world but abandoned without any care. He asked the Korean government to increase medical facilities, but the government at that time could not afford it. He sent letters to aid organizations such as the World Red Cross and the United Nations Food Organization. Aid agencies have sent a certain amount of aid to Father Schwartz. He ran a relief center with the money and took care of poor pregnant women and single mothers. Even after the war, Father Schwartz's dedication continued. In 1962, when Father Schwartz had been in Korea for about 10 years, his good-natured story was told in his country Germany, and a considerable fund was sent from an aid group called Misery Arm. Father Schwartz planned to build a hospital with state-of-the-art medical facilities with the money to help the poor and sick in the area. The plan to establish the hospital was carried out steadily with the approval of the bishop of the diocese. Around that time, a young man in his 20s and his wife visited Father Schwartz in Germany. They were moved to hear the beautiful story of Father Schwartz told in Germany. They also said they wanted to serve this poor country. Father Schwartz embraced the young couple's spirit of service. They were Bartle Aubert and his wife, Juliet. Bartle Aubert was a barber. He was friendly and amiable, so he lived without reserve with strangers in foreign countries. Bartle wandered around the hillside, where old shanty houses were tangled, and his wife, Juliet, helped Father Schwartz and their nuns to work at the relief center. Mr. and Mrs. Aubert were very sincere. As the days went by, they gained the trust of Father Schwartz. Bartle, in particular, was quick and clever in calculation making him the right person to handle the church's finances. He displayed extraordinary skills to increase the finances of the cathedral, and naturally became deeply involved in the plan to establish a hospital. Then one day, the bishop signed an application for permission to establish a hospital that Bartle brought with him. The contents of the document have been discussed so he didn't even look into it. The bishop even gave the foundation seal and certification stamp to write to the mayor of Busan and various documents to submit and even praise Bartle, who was busy establishing the hospital. But what's going on? The money for the establishment of the hospital was gone, and even Bartle, who was in charge of financial management, disappeared. The bishop, Father Schwartz, and other Catholic priests searched everywhere for Bartel's whereabouts. A few months later, Battle unexpectedly showed himself in front of Father Schwartz. But he wasn't what he used to be. From facial expressions and gestures to clothes, he was a completely different person. The barber Bartel, who took good care of the church's finances, wandered around the mountains and shaved the heads of the poor, had been transformed into an arrogant and arrogant property man. Bartel stressed to Father Schwartz that what the region needs is not a hospital but a school. He had already set up a foundation and set up a site for the school. Father Schwartz was stunned, but now that things have come to this, he has tried to smooth things out. He urged Bartle to return the foundation and the property to build the school because it belonged to the church. But Bartle was stubborn. He told that having served that much, it was time for him to be rewarded. And there were no flaws in the documents, and Germany Miserere Foundation recognized him as a representative of the business.